Quiet Place. Previously on Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> Gold nuggets! So you end up burning the crap out of your head and you're like, mmm! And then because you burned your hand, it feels so hot that it's actually cold, so then you end up like feeling like Katy Perry's you're hot when you're cold, or you're yes when you're no. That traitor book has pushed its luck! So in the burning fire, I'll chuck! Uh, oh, excuse me. Howdy guys, it's Silent Senior09, and once again we're back with some more Let's Play Banjo Kazooie! Last we left off, we were busy trying to enter the Gold Feathers Code in Sun Castle Floor, so let's see if we know how to spell that. That is spelled T H A T. No, I meant Gold Feathers, smart put. Well, then you should have said spelled Gold Feathers, not that. Be more specific. Stop being so in unspecific. That's not even a word. Besides the point. Yeah. So. This actually is quite a handy little code, because I, I'm i definitely going to find myself needing lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and, yeah, that sounds really, like, educated, tons of gold feathers. I mean, I don't even think this code that's going to give us more gold feathers, because I know that's what you, you guys are probably going to guess that by now, based on blue eggs and red feathers, that that's what it's going to give us. It's going to double the amount that we can carry. Uh, the next world that we're going to do, just, oh. Uh, it requires a lot of gold feathers. 20 gold feathers you get. New maximum 20 is... Gold feathers you may have 20, but bruises you'll still get plenty! You know what, Grunty? I got a rhyme for you. Zakora rhymes much better than you, witch. Because whenever you rhyme, my eyes do this twitch! So, nia 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 Okay, yeah. I had my childish instincts kicked in. I'm feeling better now. Yeah, I'm kind of just I'm like I'm itching to see what the next season's gonna bring. Honestly, I know. Jeez, man, you have to watch that crazy show. Seriously, what is the matter with you? Well, I can't help it that crazy little like brony show or whatever. I guess that makes me a brony or something. I don't know. It's actually entertaining. It's quite entertaining. I don't know if it's just the unique characters or just my favorite character happens to be Zakura. I don't know. I figure I'll ask you if any of you know what I'm talking about, because I'm not going to say it. So, nah, nah. But, I'll just go ahead and say it. The my Little Pony Show. The I guess it's called Friendship is Magic. Tell me in the comments what, what your favorite character is, or if you think I'm just nuts. Which will be alright, because I already know that, but... Perhaps you should be more creative. Silent Senior, you're the absolutely most absurd, insane, absolutely filled with bizarreness. Like, you put the C in crazy cutter. I'm not even kidding you, man. You just... There's no sense in just trying to make sense of you, because you're just this big, complicated box of mesh. Okay, yeah, maybe not that dramatic, but... Yeah... Just gave you guys something to do, I guess, because I, I know sometimes it's kind of hard to think of something to comment on when it comes to, like, commenting on somebody's video. I know from experience, because I've had this happen several times when I watch either fellow YouTubers, fellow Let's Players, other videos and what have you, and I just, at the end of the video, and even if it's like a 20 minute video, I'm like, um... I don't really have anything to say. I mean, it's it's surprising whenever I do ha when this happens, because I usually have something smart alecky to say. But it's just sometimes you know you just draw a blank. You really have nothing to say at the end. So all you can do really is either thumbs up or thumbs down the video. Traditionally, I like thumbs up being the video. But if I didn't like it that much, then I'm not gonna do anything. I don't really like thumbs downing anybody's videos, honestly, because. I mean, uh, excuse me, unless they were out, li unless the video's intention, uh, excuse me, sorry, is to, like, downright bash somebody else, then yeah, I probably would give them a thumbs down, but yeah, that's just me personally. I mean, you don't have to take my voice. Okay, so this is actually the last world where we gotta be. I'm just checking to make sure there's nothing behind here, because sometimes I like to hide things back there. Okay. Now, the thing about this one, this is the most unique world. 
uh, of all of them. I mean, all of all the worlds in Banjo Kazooie to this point are pretty unique. You know that. I mean, you had something in the swamp, something in the haunted house with a with a haunted house and a haunted church. You had the beach. You had the mount. You had the, like the oh, come on, dude, get up there. Gee, many Christmas, man. Anyway, point is, you guys know that they're all the worlds here. This one takes the cake for weirdness. I mean. It makes the cake that's a lie tell the truth. I'm not even kidding you. This, this place is crazy. The first thing that's weird about this place is you can't even access the puzzle until you come to this room because the little puzzle plat pat platform doesn't exist. You have to actually press that switch that's right there. I mean, it's, just, it's nutty. Alrighty, real quick. Um, I'm actually going to access a warp point that is like a humongous shortcut. I mean... It cuts off a lot of, uh, what do you want to call, a lot of travel, I guess you want to say? Yeah. Anyway, it's, it's a handy little shortcut, and it'll get us to where we need to go, actually, in a jiffy. It's really well hidden, too, so it's kind of nice that uh, if you find it, it's going to help you. Right in the grass over here, you'll find the last, well, not the last, there's still another warp point, but shh, mom's condition, you don't need to know that yet. Yeah, fortunately, right behind him is a gold feather, and that's going to come in handy, like I said. So. Oh, do 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 I haven't been watch. Uh, I've been able to watch it like forever because I, I don't have like access to Nickelodeon, so I don't really. There's a lot of shows I want to watch, you know, just for the kicks and giggles, but I'm unable to really because I just I don't have the cable to do it, and I'm too cheap, I guess you could say, to purchase Netflix or anything like that. And really, I'm not. It's not so much that. It's just I, I honestly don't have the money to do it. You know, I kind of need to be a rich folks kind of person. You know. Otherwise, I gotta stick to my budget. I think I saw a mumbo token right around the corner here when they flashed the camera. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so. We need. I don't know how many jiggies. Let's see, we got 35. How many does it take? 15 jiggies if you wanna complete this picture. And we're almost done completing pictures in this game. Click clockwood. Wow. Crap. It took us that long just to get here? Holy poop, man. I'm not going to be able to do worth diddly squat in this freaking world. Jeez. Well, I'll get it started at least for you guys, because I don't want to leave you guys just with Grunty's lair. I mean, that's just silly. There's somebody ho hollering outside. I can hear him. I don't think you guys can, because I don't know how... Like, exactly how far this mic will pick up. It's, my, it's actually a headset mic, but... Sometimes when I think it picks up a noise, it actually doesn't. And then when I don't think it picks up a noise, it actually does. So I'm just going to say, hopefully... If you can't hear it, that's a good thing, because then you don't have to listen to any obnoxious sounds. Kind of like in some people's uh, videos, I'll notice that I'll hear like a train in the background, which I'm okay with, because I mean, sometimes when you live someplace and there's a train nearby, you can't help it, because just crap happens, you know? You really can't control when somebody's train's going to sound off, and you really can't control when Mother Nature's going to decide to let it thunder on your head. Ow. Long of the tooth and none of the arm, Grunty's got the lasting charm! Yeah, 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 you think you do. You'll be charming anybody, I'll be charming right through your blessed world here. Okay, so... In Click Clockwood, the story goes, that, goes like this. There are four doors within this world. The world exit interex pad is right in the dead center. And each of these doors, I can, as you can kind of see, represents a season. You're going to be entering the same exact uh, place of the, you know, with the same structure and everything. The only difference is there will be slight changes of, I guess, map area you can explore. Like some of the areas in this, uh, in Click Clockwood are going to have leaves that are nice and big for you to walk on. Some are, some areas are going to be covered up and because of snow or leaves. Other areas are going to allow you to reach new heights because you have the ability to like climb up certain areas and what have I mean anyway you get the idea it's just it's crazy how much this world changes it's actually a lot of fun it can be also a real 
pain in the butt whenever you if you're trying to hundred percent this and find everything because uh, Click Clock Wood is just a humongous place and you pretty much have to explore every nook and cranny in all four of the seasons, you know. It's like trying to play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons five times in a row without dying. I don't know. I don't know if anybody's ever actually tried to do that, but if you have and you succeeded, you are my hero. You're my new hero. That and you're kind of like Bears of Love and NCS. They're that kind of hero. Whenever they did that 100% uh, race against each other, I can't remember what it was called. I think it was just 100% uh, race in Super Metroid or something like that. It was a lot of fun to watch. Hello, sir. I see you down there. Somebody move this boulder! Naughty can't get in his house! Well, unfortunately, dude, I can't help you right now because I can't do anything underwater. I'm just saying, man. Jeez. Here's some common sense. Not everybody can swim underwater and breathe forever and ever. Amen. Hmm. Oh, okay, that's enough. Sorry. That's the other thing is... <laughs> some things I'm gonna think you can get, but I'm like, nope, wrong season. And I think if I got this down right, I'm going to be able to enter each of the seasons at least, like, uh, once. Except, or I'm only going to, what I'm trying to say is, I'm only going to have to enter them at least once. Except for Spring. Spring, I'm going to have to re-enter again later. Huh? Oh, that's right, i got to shoot a few of these. Uh, if you come over here where this hole is and you crap out some eggs... Jeez, how many freaking eggs do I need? Here we go. You can uh, make this flower pop out. You're gonna have to do this, or yeah, first you have to do this to get this started, and then you'll have to do something in the summer and fall seasons, which I'll get into when we get to it. So I'm not gonna worry about it now. Big butt charge! Ow! Was butt charged at me? All right, he must have farted on me. Nasty little turd. I ain't gonna feed you any hot wings anymore, dude. Man, I don't know. Uh, the one time when my brother was over here, he ate some hot wings from Wingstop. My gosh, that's the biggest mistake ever. So, so if any of you have like little younger siblings, especially younger brothers, don't ever feed them hot wings. Especially, um, let me think of the flavor: garlic herb and cheese, I think it was, or Parmesan. No, it's not garlic herb and cheese. That's a that's a crust flavor. Sorry. Um, I believe it's Parmesan cheese actually. I kid you not, your freaking, your younger siblings, if they're, ga if they're a gassy bunch whenever they eat something that's like really covered in bad stuff, they'll gas the crap out of you, especially when you're trying to sleep and you're sharing the same room, man. I don't know if any of you have ever experienced that, or even at a friend's house, and they they, they keep they do nothing but they keep farting in the room and stinking you out, I mean, jeez. I had to like pull the covers over my freaking face because he wouldn't stop cutting the cheese, man, it was disgusting, ugh. He's probably laying in bed. That's probably why I heard the bed shake a little bit. He's probably sitting there laughing because he knows he's stinking the crap out of me. And I'm sitting there, oh, God. Bless America, that's nasty. What is the matter with you, you know? Anyway. <laughs> me and my weird moments of memories. Okay, so apparently it looks like on each of the arch hills in the springs. I, I kind of have this place down, memorized somewhat, but there's some areas I'm, I'm just kind of clarifying because I might forget a thing or two. But on the, each of the archways, that's where you're going to find three musical notes a pop, for the spring zone anyway. I think there's, so that means that there's probably like 12 of these little stinkers. Hmm. Do I go for it? You know what, actually I'm going to leave that for later, because I think I know what I can do to get that. Because I'm going to have to do something in a second here. Alright, now, get rid of you, nasty. Alrighty. What are we at to? We're at 14? Oh crap, well, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to cut it short here, guys. I'll see you next time, and we'll continue our adventure through Click Clock Wood. Love you all, and let's chill slap, and see ya.